The movie begins with a text claiming that many tourists are going missing during their vacations. Some are found while some are never heard from again. The scene then changes to a drone shot of New York but then quickly switches to a girl tied up in a chair, someone in yellow clothing is standing behind her. Next, we see a girl called Penny talking to her friend Abby in the park. They have a playful fight where Abby confesses to Penny that she cannot go to Thailand with her, the timing just isn't right for her and things between her and her boyfriend are going really well at the moment. Penny is upset by this and she can't believe Abby has let her down. She used to be full of life and always up for partying, but recently she changed. The girls get into a fight and leave on bad terms. One day, Abby comes home to find her boyfriend cheating on her. She is in shock and can't believe her boyfriend would do that to her. She gets angry and Pepper sprays them both before leaving. Right then she decides to go with Penny to Thailand. As Abby is exploring Thailand, a strange man is seen filming her from the crowd. When Abby sits down to have a beer, two guys approach her and ask her if they can join her, feeling like she doesn't have much of a choice, she reluctantly agrees. Later, as she is leaving, the two guys run behind her and steal her backpack. Abby runs after the two men but is unable to catch up with them, just when she feels like all hope is lost, a man comes out of nowhere and returns her bag to her. When Abby turns around, she sees a girl called Jewel who is with Ben and recording her. The trio get chatting and they head out for a drink. Ben tells Abby that he loves to record everything while pointing a camera at her. He gives her a weird vibe but she doesn't think too much into it. Later, Ben gives Abby a flyer and asks if she wants to join them on an expedition to an island. He suggests that she can tell Penny to meet her there. Later on they go on to party into the late night and the next morning, they head to the island. The group meets someone called Dale an Australian and when Abby is sitting alone on the beach thinking about her silly arguments with Penny, he joins her and tries to comfort her. The next day, Abby goes to an internet cafe to see if she has received any new messages from Penny. She is relieved when she finds a message from her but when she opens it, she is horrified to find a distressing video from Penny. She rushes back to Ben and Jewel to explain what has happened and shows them the video. Here we learn that Penny has been kidnapped and is tied to a chair, there is a clown in the video who asks Abby if she is willing to fight for her friend. Abby is distraught and shaking with fear. Ben tells her that the video is a fake, there are loads of videos going around like this where people get fake kidnapped so they can repair their relationship with their friends. This calms Abby down a little and that night, they all go to a party. The next morning, Abby receives a letter under her door. She receives another video where the clown tells her that if she refuses to play the game or involves anyone except Ben and Jewel, Penny will die. Abby is freaked out by this and extremely worried again. When she shows the video to Ben and Jewel, Ben still tells her it is just a prank and she shouldn't worry. Jewel tells her that Thailand is very safe and the video is not real. Abby is still not sure what to make of it all and who to believe. Later, we see Ben talking to himself about how he has no money and how stressed out he is. The group go to a shed on the island and start drinking. During the night, while everyone is sleeping, someone came into Abby's room and spies on her. The next morning, while Jewel and Abby are drinking coffee, a man approaches their table and gives them a letter containing a map. The group gets together and decide to follow the map hoping that it will lead them to Penny. They get to the location. They see a blown up doll with some sort of clue attached to it. The message tells them that they all need to go out that night and drink. Abby also finds a bracelet that she gave to Penny which confirms to her that she has been kidnapped. That night the group go out drinking again just as they have been told. Later, they find Tabitha, a girl they met earlier with Dale. They continue dancing and drinking until Abby needs to use the bathroom. Abby has had too much to drink and she falls to the ground, someone approaches her and starts drawing all over her face. Later, the group realize that she is missing and try to find her. When they finally find her, Tabitha starts laughing hysterically as Jewel tries to help. The next morning, when Abby wakes up nursing a hangover, she finds that she has received another video of Penny, where the clown is playing around with her life. At that moment, Ben knocks on the door and tells her she needs to see something. Ben shows her a video of Tabitha on her bed crying hysterically, she tells the camera that he won't let her go because he will kill her family. 
Abby goes to Ben's and Jules' room and finds photos of the clown in the bathroom. She is furious and wants to go to the police but Ben stops her. While they argue, they get an envelope under the door which reads that it would be a shame if she went to the police since they are very close to finding Penny. The group are terrified, they realize that someone has been listening to them the whole time. The note tells them that they need get to Mushy Mountain and play along if they want to see Penny alive again. That evening before leaving, Ben is looking on his computer. When Abby asks him what he was doing, he doesn't answer and they leave. While Jewel and Abby are sitting together, someone brings them a shirt that says go to the bartender and say I love Penny. They reach the bartender and they are given another envelope. They try to question the bartender about who gave this to him, he just stares at them. The note states that they need to go to the location shown at a specific time, but the group decides to go early. Jewel has been drinking so she is feeling lightheaded on the way there. They reach the location which appears to be an apartment. They go inside and are shocked to find Tabitha dressed up as a clown dead in the bathtub. The group freak out and a few moments later, they see a camera in the corner of the room, somebody has been watching them the whole time. The group leave disoriented and shocked by what they have seen. The next day, Ben goes to Abby to show her another video that they have just received. The video shows Penny saying that everything is fine but clearly, she is shaking and petrified. We then see her being forced to sing a happy birthday song while she holds back her tears. Abby cries after watching the tape. The scene then switches to Ben who is seen talking to himself again. He says that he can't show Abby everything that was in the envelope, he mumbles something like he is too close. He also mentions that Jewel should keep her mouth shut. Before turning off the camera, he reveals a bag of severed fingers that were sent in the envelope. They then go and try finding Jewel, when they find her they see her having sex in some sort of cult. The group get together and Ben starts interrogating Jewel, he asks her who she has been talking to. Abby is surprised to hear about the note and asks Ben about it, he replies that there are some things that she doesn't want to know. Jewel then tells him that maybe telling Dale about all this might be a good idea, he may be able to help if things get out of control. They then inform Dale about Penny and they all go to the new location they have been told to go to. When they get there, they see clothes covered in blood. A few moments later, they are all suddenly attacked and hit by tranquilizer darts, they are all knocked out and dragged into the woods. When Abby finally regains consciousness, she records a video detailing what has happened to her scared out of her mind. While talking, we see someone with a clown mask lurking behind her. Early morning, she manages to get to a room where she finds more videotapes of Jewel. When Dale suddenly turns up, Abby explains the whole situation to him. Dale then goes to town and picks up a knife. Later, the two receive a phone call where Dale threatens the caller. Abby is panicked by his temper and thinks the caller will kill everyone. Later, Dale and Abby go to a club. A man approaches Abby and asks her how is Penny. The two confront him and the man tells them that a girl paid him to say that. Suddenly, they receive a phone call telling them to follow the instructions given to them. Abby goes to the bathroom to vlog what is going on and how worried she is. Suddenly, someone in a clown mask knocks Abby out and drags her into the woods again. When Abby wakes up, she is very disoriented. She decides to sharpen a piece of wood to try and protect herself. She follows a path and arrives at an abandoned shack. She climbs up the stairs and sees Ben and Jewel tied up and blindfolded, Dale's lifeless body is lying in front of them. As Abby rushes to free them, Dale gets up behind her and knocks her out. The trio are all tied up and made to watch a video recording of Penny being horrifically killed. This is where we learn that Dale is the killer and his accomplice in all this is actually Tabitha. The two psychos dress up as clowns and begin playing with them. While music plays in the background, they are all killed one by one. The final scene shows Abby and Penny sitting in the park reciting a song about friendship. While they are doing that, Dale can be seen walking up and recording them from behind. All this time, Dale had been following them from the very start of their trip and this was part of sick plan all along and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.